Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review, and today I have the Blink Outdoor Floodlight Mount. This product not only provides an incredibly secure way of mounting your Blink Outdoor camera to your home, a pole in the backyard, or pretty much anywhere since it's battery powered, it also includes a set of LED floodlights that are motion activated, and they can generate 700 lumens of brightness that you can use to light up a dark pathway so when people walk through it comes on and they're not going to trip, or you can use it to light up maybe a dark area in your patio that you'd like to keep a better eye on. This product works great for both of those situations, and again, because it's battery powered, you can mount it pretty much anywhere. Now as part of this review, I always like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit so you understand exactly what you get if you buy the product. And then I'll go through the specifications, I'll give you an overview of the product, I'll take a closer look at the actual floodlight mount and explain the connections to your camera and how you change the batteries, how you can mount it and position the lights. And then finally I'll come back and point out a few things that really make this product special because there's a lot of Blink outdoor camera mounts on the market. I like this one an awful lot. I own a few of them, I've got them outside my house, and what I love most about it is just the flexibility of putting it wherever I need it, whenever I need it, because the battery power and the Wi-Fi connection allow me to mount it here today and mount it over there tomorrow to keep an eye on some chipmunks that are driving me crazy on the patio. So let's get into the unboxing. Oh, but before I do that, this product only works with the newer Blink camera. So if you have a Blink outdoor camera, it's gonna work just great. Unfortunately, if you have a Blink XT or an XT2, it's not compatible. And that's one of the downsides of it, but it works great with these newer Blink outdoor cameras. All right, so the unboxing. You'll find the Blink floodlight mount, which again, is a marvelous product. They really did a lot of engineering to design this thing to be pretty cool. You'll find some mounting hardware. I think it's nice they include this. There are screws in here you can use to attach this to a pole or side of your house. They also include some sleeves. You can drill it into concrete, slide the sleeves in and screw it into those sleeves. They've come out with an incredibly clever mount that's a no holes mount that you can use if you have vinyl siding. Now, these are clever because what this mount does is actually slide up in the seam of your vinyl siding. So it slides up behind your siding at that actual seam between the different sections. And once you slide it in there, the weight of the mount actually holds it on your wall. So there's no need to drill holes through your vinyl siding, which I love because I don't mind drilling the holes, but then I worry that I'm gonna have leakage and I've gotta caulk it and everything else. So this is great because I can slide it through the gap in my siding, mount this on there, and if I wanna move it around later on, I just slide this back out, move it somewhere else, and there's no holes to deal with. And then there's finally another mount here that either mounts on that or you can screw this to a pole or a fence or a tree or whatever, and this clips on there. So it's really easy to move it around if you need to move it around. Finally, they include a full instruction manual that gives you all the information you'll need to understand about how to use the unit and how to connect it up to your system and use the application to control the lights and the camera. Now the unit itself is clever. It runs on 4D alkaline cells. They're included with the kit and you'll probably get about two years under normal use out of the lights and the camera. It'll power the camera and power the lights. Now, of course, your mileage is gonna vary depending on how often the lights come on, what kind of resolution you're recording those video clips in, how many times the video clips are triggered by the motion sensor. So there's a lot of variables in there, but if you're conservative and you don't turn the lights on for long periods of time, you maybe only use the motion detection to turn the lights on, you're recording at a normal resolution, you're recording shorter clips, you're probably gonna get two years out of it. Now, I can't vouch for that because it just came out, but I've got them around the house, I haven't changed the batteries yet, and I've been using it a lot, I've been playing around with it a lot, so I think you're gonna be in great shape. But once those batteries go bad, then you're gonna change them with four new D-cell alkalines. The batteries in here will also power the camera, like I've mentioned, so it is a complete solution that allows you to put it anywhere you need it and know that the camera's gonna work and the lights are gonna work. The other cool thing is, in the application, when you do the update in the application for it, the Blink application, you'll find separate controls for the camera and for the lights. So you have the ability to turn the lights on manually if you'd like to do that. So if you hear some noises out back and you're thinking, hey, what's on the patio over there? You can turn the lights on, the camera comes on and it'll actually look to see what's going on there. So you can have the camera turn on the lights or you can turn them on manually. I like that a lot. I love the fact that I can position these independently. Some of these mounts out there have the lights mounted directly to the case and you can't really move them. And that's a challenge because I may want the camera to point down here, but I wanna have one light over this way to illuminate that area and maybe this one down in a patio. I love the that these are completely independent, I can position where I need to. It's IP65 rated, so I can put it outside, not have to worry about it having issues with snow or rain or sleet or any kind of inclement weather out there, it'll, it'll last just fine. And again, the flexibility in these lights is just great. Now inside the unit, I'll show you this in a closer look, the back pops off and it's locked on right now. When you pop this off, there are four D-cells inside there. When you first get the unit, and it's explained in the manual, there are tabs in there that protect those batteries from being used during shipping, so make sure you take those tabs off. On the front of the unit, you'll find a micro USB connection right here. It's got a nice rubber grommet on it. In the back of the unit, there's actually another grommet here in the cameras. You can pop that grommet off. 
actually take the thing off completely and that will plug right in here on the back. So that's how you power the camera. And I like that. And then finally, there's also the volcano mount right here, which is uh, an Amazon name for this, but it's, it's a mount that pops on the back of the camera. So right here in that center piece, you'll pop that on there. It takes a little bit of work to get it on, but it's not coming off. And then you can position that camera in a lot of different ways. So if I have to look up at a tree, I'm good. I could look down at a patio. You have a lot of flexibility of how it mounts. And again, it's self-contained. So once this thing is mounted, you've got power from those batteries for the camera and both of those lights and complete control through the Blink app. Now, if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is take a closer look at the unit and show you how you change the batteries, how those tabs come off that I mentioned a minute ago, and basically how you connect it up to the camera. And then finally, I'll come back and point out some of the cool things this provides because I've tested and I own a lot of Blink mounts uh, for different cameras, outdoor cameras and indoor cameras. And I'll tell you, this wasn't a product that was rushed into production. Whoever designed this really thought through what I care about as a consumer and built a product that I think is pretty complete. So stay tuned for the closer look. Inside the kit, you'll find three main components, the Blink Outdoor Floodlight Mount, a mounting base, and a clever bracket that you can use if your home has vinyl siding that allows you to mount the product without drilling a single hole. And I'll show you that in a second. But I'll start off with the mounting base because you're going to use this for every installation of this particular product. And if you're not using the specialized bracket for vinyl siding, you'll essentially lay this up against the surface you'd like to mount the camera on. And you'll mark these three mounting holes with a pen or a pencil, drill those holes, and then bolt this to that surface very securely. You can use the screws that are included with the kit or any heavy duty screw, but make sure you securely attach this to the surface because the unit's got a little bit of weight to it. Once that's mounted, you'll basically slide this onto the bracket. You'll hear a click and it'll be securely mounted. If you'd like to move it, push down in this tab and slide it off. Unmount the bracket, move it to where you'd like the camera to be located, bolt it on again, and slide the camera back on. Now where it gets interesting is if you have vinyl siding on your home, this clever bracket allows you to mount it without drilling a hole. And I'll show you how that works. So I've got a small section of vinyl siding right here. Now normally vinyl siding is installed in long lengths that look like this, and they have this unique characteristic where you can see a curve at the top and a curve down here. And essentially the way you install it is you'll slide this curve into this curve to create this really nice weatherproof seal down here. And this bracket basically slides in in that seam. So you'll put it in the seam like that and you'll spin it down and it actually shoehorns its way into that seam and it's securely held there. But again, no holes are needed. So once you've put that in there, you can mount the bracket on this. And if you want to move the camera later on, you'll basically take the bracket off, you'll pull this out and you can move it anywhere else and you won't have to deal with the holes that you would normally drill through the siding. So I think they've really thought this through. This is a really clever mount that saved me a lot of time and a lot of headaches with drilling holes. Now, the way those two join together Again, you'll notice an up arrow right here. Normally this is hanging like this, or always it's hanging like this on your siding. On the back of this unit, you'll see two little tabs right there that slide into these two holes. So essentially you line those up like this, they slide into the holes, and this slides down and locks in. And once that's on there, it's essentially hanging free on the side of your wall. You can slide the mount onto here, you'll hear a click and you're good to go. If you want to take it off, again, push the tab down, slide out the mount, lift this up, lift it off, and then you can pull this off and you can move it wherever you need to move it. Now the camera assembly itself, or they should say the mount, has these two uh, LED floodlights on either side. I mentioned before how flexible these are. You can move them in almost any position. I can point them straight up, straight out. Each of them are independently movable, so I can move this one. Maybe I want to point this down at the walkway. This one I want to point over that way because there's some suspicious activity over by the garage. But again, you can move those as needed. On the front, you'll find this volcano mount right here. And that matches up with the hole in the back of the camera. Now, I'm not going to try and get it on there because it's a bit of a wrestling match. But And once I get it on, it's tough to get it off. And that's important because you're going to basically line this up and push really hard. It's going to pop on there. And that's how you'd actually mount it. And then you have a lot of flexibility of where the camera can be positioned. So I can look down if I need to on a pathway. I can look over at a fence on the side of the house. Whatever I need to point it to, I can do. And you'll also find this short cable right here that ends in a micro USB connection right there with a really nice weatherproof grommet on it. So the way you'll use this, and again, batteries inside are providing power through this cable for the camera, is on the back of your Blink Outdoor, there's a grommet on the bottom. You'll basically open up the camera, so open up the back. And when you open up the back, you can take this off completely. You'll see inside how you can release that. Always release this because even though you could force this in, to actually plug into that micro USB there, it's not going to seal correctly because that little bit of rubber is in the way. So always take that off. And when you put this in, the grommet here is going to seal it and make it weatherproof. So you won't have to worry about water getting inside. But once that's mounted, I put that in first and then I pop it on the unit here. And then you're all set to go. So slide it on the mount and you can start using the camera. 
Now, internally, I mentioned before, it uses four D-cell batteries. Oh, I should probably show you this too. On the back of the unit, you'll see these two little grooves right here, these two little rails. Those fit into this unit. So once you've mounted this on the wall and it's facing up, essentially what you're doing there is just sliding it on like this. Now listen for the click. Hear that click? And now it's locked in there. It's not going anywhere. If you want to remove it, you'll pull up on the tab and just slide this off again. So it's just that easy to mount it. Now, if you want to change the batteries or to activate it initially, you have to open up the battery compartment and you'll see there's a locked indicator right there. You'll move it to the unlock position like this and the back will pop off. And inside there, there's another cover right there that'll pop off just like that. So be ready to catch it because it's got a little bit of a uh, little spring to it. And when you first get the unit, you'll see these tabs on the batteries. And the reason those are there is because they've installed these alkaline batteries in the factory, but they won't actually work because they have to contact these components inside here and you got to remove those to make it work. So when you get the camera and you're ready to use it, pull this tab off and that'll activate the batteries. Put this cover back on just like I showed you and then you'll put this cover on it. And it's a little bit clumsy to get it on the first time, but you'll get used to it. But you're going to start it off like this in this position and then turn it to the lock position. And that forces it down and forces the batteries into position. And that's basically how you change the batteries if you need to. And again, you'll probably get, uh, they're saying two years of use out of the unit. Um, and again, that really depends on you know, the type of video you're taking, the resolution, how long the video clips are, how many times the lights come on, a lot of variables in there that you have control over. But if you want to get the longest life possible out of those batteries, I would recommend only turning the lights on based on motion. I would also set up motion zones that limited the amount of attention it was paying to a particular area so you didn't have to worry about, you know, everything out there moving and turning the lights on. So they'll turn on less often and they'll only turn on when there's something you need to pay attention to. Make the resolution of the clips lower, that'll extend the battery life, and also make the clip shorter and that'll extend the battery life. But those are adjustments you can make in the application and you can set them to your own preference. But that's pretty much it for the kit. So those three components will get you started. And I really think I timed it one time when I put one of these things up. It took me less than five minutes to get the bracket mounted, to get the camera mount on the bracket, and put the camera on here and power it up. So very simple installation. Hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few key things to keep in mind when you're comparing this Blink outdoor floodlight mount to other Blink mounts that you may be considering. The first thing I love about this product is that it's using larger batteries. Some of the Blink outdoor mounts use rechargeable batteries. Some use AAA or AA batteries. This uses D cells. And that's really important because these lights are going to drink a lot of electricity. The camera doesn't. The camera can survive perfectly fine on AA batteries. But these lights, when they come on, especially at 700 lumens, they're going to drink a lot of electrons out of the battery. So having D cells in here means I've got plenty of energy to let this thing run for quite a long time. I love the brightness of the lights. A lot of the other mounts on the market are not anywhere near 700 lumens, and 700 lumens is really about the brightest the lights can be for a standard outdoor mount. So if you've got solar lights outside, they're not gonna be 700 lumens. This is plenty of illumination to, again, light up a walkway so you don't trip, or maybe light up that area in your patio without being too bright. And again, if they're too bright, they're gonna drink more electrons and you're not gonna get as much use out of the battery. So I think it's a great balance between length of battery use and brightness of the lights. I also love the fact that it powers the camera because some of the mounts in the market are really just the floodlights and you still have to have internal batteries on the camera. With this one, you can power all three on the same set of batteries. Another cool feature is this bracket. I can't say enough about this. A lot of the mounts in the market, you're stuck with mounting them to your house or finding some wacky bracket to actually attach it. I love that they include this bracket. They really thought through the fact that a lot of people have vinyl siding and this slides up under the vinyl siding in that gap and allows you to mount this without drilling holes in your vinyl siding, which is a major bonus. The mounting is incredibly easy. It's really easy to put it on the mount, take it off the mount. I move these around a lot. So in the wintertime, I want to keep an eye on my driveway. Uh, we got a lot of deer in the backyard in the summertime. So I like to take them down, put it back in the backyard so we can keep an eye on the deer and those crazy chipmunks that are out there to see what's going on on the patio. So it is completely portable as long as I stay within Wi-Fi range of my Blink Sync module. And it's easy to add to your system. You may have to update your system to uh, take advantage of the features of turning on the lights and the camera separately, but that'll automatically happen inside the Blink app. But to add this to your Blink application literally took me about a minute to actually add it to the application and immediately start seeing the camera and controlling the lights. So it's a pretty complete kit. Everything you need to get started is included in the box. So you can pretty much open it up pull the tabs off the batteries, mount this. If you've got vinyl sighting, it'll take you 30 seconds to mount it and be using it literally in five minutes as soon as it's added to the application. So I think they've done a great job with this product. Again, I own a few of them. I've been using them since the release and I really, really like this product. So hopefully you found this review helpful. And again, until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.